Chris's favorite place, the world famous Salmon River, upstate New York, the last guy. Fishing here, early January, for Axo Fire steelhead eggs tied in Atlas mesh. It's not a secret Salmon River color here, blue. Was it on the blue? If you're ever at the Salmon River, if you're ever in doubt, put on a blue egg sack. Atlas Mike's netting, Potsky trout eggs, Potsky bore axle fire. Put one in the hoop. Ready, big Mike? First time. Here we go, early January. Atlas Mike's blue, bore axle fire. Not the brightest fish, but we'll let this one go and we'll get another one. Back in action again, another Salmon River steelhead. Guess what? Atlas blue. Is it on blue again? Oh my gosh. When in doubt, run blue. Big Mike, you running blue? Nope, that's a problem. And no, that is not trick photography. There's no snow in Pulaski right now. Uh, I think we're January 12th, somewhere around there. We had to watch the national championship first, then come out here. But take a look. That's just a little bit of frost, maybe a tiny dusting. Different weather here in upstate New York but the steelhead don't mind it because the water's cold and the blue sacks are in the water. So people always ask me if I ever get time to fish for myself. These, this is my first day fishing on my own. So these are my first two steelhead of the season. <laughs> Ooh, I see the blue. Ooh, that's a bigger nice. one. Yeah, that's a much bigger fish. Another one, blue Atlas Mike's or Axo Fire. Salmon River, upstate New York. Big Mike. I finally came in and let Big Mike have a blue. Yeah. So, Big Mike has been the guinea pig today. Steven, since he doesn't get to fish much, he didn't want to mess around. He's just using Braxifier eggs. Big Mike's using trout eggs. I got news for you. Big Mike is now one for three on trout eggs. Steven's two for two on Braxifier, which tells you what? They both work. But Big Mike is, oh, wait a minute. Big Mike, you got your lucky hat on? He hey. sure does. Go Cuse! All right. Trying to get the whammy off. There we go. So far I've been in a tree, about 15 feet. <laughs> I had me a bird's nest. Yep. We didn't know if Big and Mike... And I lost two. <laughs> we didn't know if Big Mike was still hunting yeah. for yeah. I was actually hunting for cruise. Yep. Yeah. He's on the board. He ain't pretty, but I'll take him. Yep. So I just want to talk a little bit about the gear we use today, steelhead fishing here. Um, for rods, we use 13 foot center pin rods. Um, I like lama glass rods, that's my preference. So here's a 13 foot closure that we used. Uh, Big Mike and I both used the four to eight pound test rod and also the six to 10 pound model. Uh, these 13 foot rods allow us to keep the line up off the water a little bit and uh, get a bit of drift. You know, sometimes here we're making a little bit longer cast where you need to keep your line up off the water to maintain your drift. Uh, for reels, we use Kingpin uh, reels. This is the Kingpin Kinetic. These setups are what I'm utilizing every day uh, when I'm fishing with clients here. Um, so this Kingpin Kinetic, super smooth reel, uh, very affordable for most anglers. So it allows us uh, to have a really nice setup that doesn't break the bank. Uh, in terms of the terminal tackle we're using today, today we utilized a size 8 scud hook. Here, we used 6 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Uh, we used Spro Swivels, uh, P line, CXX main line, high vis yellow. Uh, this 8 pound test in the high vis lets us be able to also track the drift and also help maintain getting nice long drag free drifts. Good thing I had my CNI and dog, and I lost That's my right. down there. <laughs> Gave him the secret colored egg sack. Was it, yeah. was it blue again? It was blue. Oh, man. So Schaefer tells me everywhere he goes in the country, trout eggs, trout eggs, trout eggs. We've been a little stubborn here on the Salmon River. We love our Boraxo fire. When Big Mike showed up, Big Mike made me tie yep. trout eggs last night. And he's showing me they really do work. That's right. Oh, he's almost in. Okay. Oh, 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 you got him. Is that the same fish you caught earlier today? The skinny one? Yeah, yeah I think so. similar. A little brighter. Nice, brighter fish. So guys, this is uh, 2023. 
very beginning of 2023. Matter of fact, I picked this date so we could go to Syracuse, Virginia Tech tonight, but that's kind of average this year, right? This year we have a ton of fish in this 21 to 23, 24 inch range. These are first time responders. This year, we've just seen an influx of this fish, this size fish. The good news about that is, it means in the future, these fish should grow up. Be, you know, two, three pounders, four pounders, turn it into seven, eight, nine pounders. Good days are coming up for the Salmon River in upstate New York. This one feel a little bit better? Yeah. About time. Whoa. Another one of those, you know, 23, 24 inch fish. We got a whole lot of them here this year. It's provided a lot of action here on the Salmon River this year. And really all throughout the Eastern Basin of Lake Ontario. It's great news, it's a great sign. You know, a lot of great years of fishing ahead of us, you know, as these fish come back and, you know, repeat spawn the next few years, you know. Hopefully it's a sign of great fishing to come. You know what, they might not be the biggest, but they do bend the rod, they sure do fight hard and they're still fun to catch. He's not coming in any quicker than the other ones would. Got him, he swam right into the little tree to jump out of the net. Look at that. It's a bigger one. Yeah, biggest fish of the day. So in terms of bait today, what did we primarily use? Egg sacks, egg sacks, egg sacks. Not primarily, we only used egg sacks today. Now, it's a big change of pace from fishing earlier in the season here. Fall time fishing with actively spawning king salmon, brown trout, we're fishing a lot more single egg presentations. Beads, beads, beads that time of year. Beads and fire gel, that's the staple here in November. Now we're into early January, they want eggs. Now, with the waters up, all our snow is melted here throughout the Christmas holiday and the new year. So now we have the waters puffed up a little bit. We're fishing higher flows. All they want is eggs. So we, there's times that we fish jigs, fireworms, jigging a wax worm, uh, egg sacs, beads, all to, at one day. Today, egg sacs, primarily blue. Blue, blue, blue. So these are some pr premium trout eggs tied in Atlas M Mike's blue mesh, three by three squares. And as you see the size of them, this is my go-to run of the mill everyday size egg sacks. If we had much higher water, we'd use bigger bags. Out in Ohio, they call them gag bags or pimp daddies. But here in New York, this is primarily the size. If the water was two, 3,000 CFS, we'd be using bigger bags. If the water was down low, 185, 350, we'd be using smaller egg sacks. This medium flow here, it's 1,000 CFS today out of the reservoir, we use like a medium size egg sack. So the two different kinds we used, Potsky Premium Trout Eggs, I just reused the jar, it makes a great way to carry your bait to the river. And then also, Steelhead Eggs, cured with natural boraxo fire, tied in Atlas Mike's netting. Big hey boys, there we go. Good Mike didn't even need a spotting eye dog for that one. No. That thing oh, took it jumping. down. down He's coming in hot, actually. This is the first fish we've seen with a lot of energy so far today. You wouldn't believe what this one's on. More blue XX, oh. Atlas Mike's blue netting. We have not. You know, the godfather, Troy Creasy, all you guys know him, he's been around here, I think, about 50 years now. They're guiding for 50 years. Tells you how old he is, but he's been using these for that long, which tells you they work. And now, Big Mike is a believer in blue, too. Look at that fish. Nice fish. Big Mike just landed this beautiful Salmon River steelhead. Those little ones we were catching, they grow to be these big ones. This is this fish is, you know, pushing probably 14, 15 pounds. This is an absolute dandy of a buck steelhead here in the Salmon River in upstate New York. Blue egg sack, Atlas Mike's, Potsky Premium Trout Eggs. It's January 2023. You know, I'd say we're halfway through our steelhead season here in New York. We've had a great year here. The numbers of fish in the river system are definitely up this year. Now, they're not all monsters as you saw today, you know, throughout our, our fishing here, but action's action. And it was great having plenty of bites, plenty of hookups, plenty of landed. We think that this good fishing should continue all winter long and into the spring. It's It's been a great year here on the Salmon River. The numbers are definitely up. The size might be down a little bit, but there's lots of action here in upstate New York on the Salmon River. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you on a balmy winter day here in Altmar down to Pulaski, New York on the world famous Salmon River. It's a place we come every year. Why? 
because the amount of fishable hours here is insane. People from all over the Great Lakes and the Northeast come to the Salmon River because it gets such a phenomenal run. Now today, take a look, folks. There's no snow. Today is January 11th. To be honest, I scheduled filming today because everybody's known I'm a big Syracuse fan forever. We went to Syracuse, Virginia Tech tonight after filming, and then I'm going again Saturday, Syracuse, Notre Dame. But today, we're focused on using two baits to catch steelhead. We're out here at Stephen Shen of STS Guide Service here in the Salmon River. You guys have seen us with him many times before. Why do we come with him? He's calm, he's collective, he's educated, and he's a blast to fish with. So I brought Big Mike and Big Mike's energy up from Pennsylvania, and what did we do? Guys, we caught six fish in a half day trip, and we sure had a great time. Why? Because the bite was on and all we used were eggs. As a matter of fact, the only thing we used was Atlas Mike's blue netting. We wrapped it all with magic cred like we always do. Everything that Steven caught came on Baraxa fire cured eggs. You heard it, he uses natural. Everything Big Mike caught came on premium trout eggs. Steven said, Big Mike, you're the guinea pig. Well, guess what? Look what happened, it worked. Now, you never know what's gonna happen here. What I mean by that is there could be four feet of snow up here on Tug Hill. And guess what, if it happens, it's gonna look a little different. Right now, we know there's rain coming. There's more fresh steelhead coming in. Here in 2023, on Oswego County's world famous Salmon River. Kotsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.